As professional photographers, it's our job to see the world differently. We need to see the beauty in everything. Unfortunately, we are often presented with less than desirable locations, with little potential. Do you exercise your eyes? Do you exercise your imagination? Do you look or do you see? Where would you photograph in this room? We may use the natural window light or perhaps get the bride to lie on the bed. I decided to block out all the natural light. I asked the bride to sit on a chair very close to the dresser. With video light, a low camera angle and a wide angle lens, I capture three reflections of the bride. It's our job to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. When you walk into a groom or bride's home, I encourage you to look in every room. You'll be amazed at what you find. I found an attic window. I asked the bride to stand in front of it with a dramatic pose, which seemed to complement the leading lines of the attic. What would you have done? I like to use items around the house as props for my photographs. If you were to see a fan, you'd probably think to yourself, why don't I turn the fan on and have the bride's hair blowing in the breeze? It makes it very hard when the bride has a very tight hairstyle. I decided to shine my video light through the fan which gave me a beautiful graduated shadow behind the bride. Think laterally rather than literally. Most of us would have had a sneak peek in this room thinking that it was no potential and moved on to another location. What about that natural light filtering through on the right hand side, hitting the checkered wallpaper? I asked the groom and his groomsmen to sit on the bed leaning their back against the wall. I shot from a low angle and cropped high to avoid the bedspread. And we also see some beautiful light filtering through on the right hand side providing some beautiful modelling on their faces. Here's the room from a different angle and another aftershot. I walk downstairs into the basement of this bride's home. I noticed a door to the extreme left. I opened it and I found some beautiful light filtering through. I turned off all the artificial lights, opened the door and allowed the beautiful natural light to pour in. Remember, side lighting increases texture. What potential do you see in this scene? I see a cool Art Deco style light. I wonder what it would look like if I actually move that light against the wall. To increase the drama of this photograph, I blocked out all natural light and turned off all artificial lights. I'm always looking for reflections. Here I see a mirror resting against the corner of the room. I place the mirror on the bed and ask the bride to lean on the ground with her head very close to the mirror. And what was the result? I actually photographed this image vertically and tilted the bride's head to the left. It seemed to work better as a horizontal though, don't you think? And here's the before and after. Can you see the potential in this photograph? I asked the bride to actually lean on the doorway. I closed the sliding door and shone a video light to actually hit the bride, but also shine through the textured glass for great effect. Most of us would laugh at the prospect of shooting in this particular location. If I don't like something in a scene, I crop it. If I can't crop it, I hide it. If I can't hide it, I simply won't shoot it. I cropped out all the eyesores and had the groom folding his arms and turning his face into the light. We hardly see the background, but the rough texture of the background suits the ruggedness of the groom. There are quite a few places to shoot in this room, but I want to show you a spot that's not so obvious. I asked the bride to sit down on the ground and lean her elbow on the couch with her face pointing towards the light, and this is the result.
And again, here's the before and after. This shot was taken a few moments after the shot I'm about to show you. The sun briefly peered through the clouds, offering a dramatic shadow behind the bride and on her face and body. I walked into the bride's parents' bedroom and noticed these square recessed areas behind the bedhead. I asked the bride to lean against the wall and I turned the down light on for a very glamorous feel. I could show you the other beautiful shots that I took in this room, but I'd prefer to show you the shots that aren't normally obvious to us. What potential do you see in this photograph? I see a light with a statue. I removed the statue, turned the light on, and had the groom lean in the corner for that great fashion feel. As soon as I walked into this room, I noticed the light fixture on the right hand side. I blocked out all the natural light coming into the room, turned that light on, had the bride lean against the wall, and this is the shot. I often like to light my subjects with candlelight, but there were no dark rooms in this house. I asked the bride to sit in the corner and had her father hide some of the natural light pouring through with his jacket. I lit the candles and here's the shot. Do you see where the bride's sitting? She's sitting on the kitchen table to the right. I'm sure you see it too. There's that desk lamp on the left hand side. I turned the main room light switch off, pulled down the roller blinds and turned that desk lamp on. I had the bride sit on that stool and lean against the desk. Now here's the shot. If I see candlelight, I have to shoot with it, so I try to find the darkest room in the house. I drew back the blinds from the groom's parents' bedroom and found a table which I placed in front of the curtains. I asked all the boys to share a drink over candlelight and had a video light increase the texture and drama of that back curtain. The guys thought I was crazy, but the results speak for themselves. The first thing I saw in this bedroom was not the mess, but the Al Pacino poster on the wall. And I know that most guys are a big fan of the movie Scarface. I asked the groom to sit on the edge of the backrest with his feet on the seat. I noticed some cigars the best man was holding, so I asked the groom to light one up with Al Pacino looking in the background. Here's another shot in this scene, this time with a little bit of natural light. I hope I've inspired you to see the world a little bit differently. I wish you all the best in turning the ordinary into the extraordinary.